Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to bridge Waves plugins or rather convert Waves plugins from 32-bit to 64-bit so that you can use it in a 64-bit door. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. Make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So some time back, I made a video on JetBridge which is just the software that we use to bridge plugins for example if you have a 32-bit plugin but you'd like to use it in a 64-bit door which does not support 32-bit plugins i've been getting a lot of questions from people asking how to convert waves plugins using that same software so in today's video i'm going to be addressing that stay tuned and watch this step by step because if you don't you might miss a step and it won't work for you so right now i'm in cubase 11 and i'm sure by now we all know that cubase only supports 64-bit plugins right now on my pc i've got waves v8 and they can only show in cubase 5 because they are 32-bit plugins and i can't use them here because this version of cubase only supports supports 64-bit plugins so i'm going to be bridging them or rather converting them to 64-bit so that i can use them here so i'll go to my lead vocal group channel right here under insets i just want to show you that i don't have any waves plugins here you would have seen a folder called waves down here but there's nothing here so now that we know that we don't have anything here let's open jbridge right here so i'll leave the link in the description you guys can go and download jbridge if you don't have it yet so the first step it asks you vst host that you'll be using so in my case i'll be using a 64-bit which is cubase 11 pro if you're using a 32-bit host that means you'll be converting your 64-bit plugins to 32-bit so you need to click this but since i'll be converting 32-bit to 64-bit i'll need to click this one down here so i'll click there and just click this if the plugins you want to bridge are 32 bit they will be in this folder here in your local disk go to program files then scroll down and go to waves make sure you click the entire waves folder just click the entire folder and click ok then select uh, the folder where you want to save these bridged files in my case i'll just go to my pc then i'll look for local disk c here i will go to program files you can save it anywhere you want so i'll create the folder in here so i'll go to new and create the folder so i'm going to call this folder bridged plugins all right so once my folder is created i'll select it and say okay and just wait for this to load and bridge my files so let's just give it some time so if you notice because we selected the entire folder you expect that some of the plugins or some other things that are there might not uh, be able to be bridged so what will happen is you might get errors here and there make sure you're aware about that you get a number of errors but just remove them and just keep going like that so just wait for the entire process to finish then uh, your files will be bridged then i'll show you from here how to point your door to that folder so that they can load in here all right we're almost there all right so this is what i was talking about some of the things will be doing this you just remove this from here let it finish so it says one file bridged for using in 64-bit vst host but you have a lot of waves uh, plugins that are supposed to be bridged so the one file that it is talking about is the wave shell which is what will support all these other plugins so you just click ok then in your door go to studio then go to vst plugin manager then add the folder here so that your door can search for that so you go to program files where i created a folder you can create this folder anywhere like i said even on your desktop but let's say for example after some time you move this folder from wherever it is that you saved it then these plugins will no longer show in your door that's the reason why i like saving this in program files because i don't move anything or you may not move anything in here so your files here are safe so you just click that and select folder once your folder is selected click here to refresh so here you have 355 new vst effects 
then just click OK. So if you look at this, you have now some Waves plugins in here. So let's just remove this. Let's go back to the lead vocal here. You'll find the folder Waves down here. So let's try something here from Mono. Let's try C1 Mono. So here is the plugin. Now we we can try it here. They wanna see me fail, they don't wanna see me win. Said I shouldn't rap cause the color on my skin. Fool to survive on this planet is sin. So hate me if you like, I just stand it. Alright, so basically this is how you bridge waves plugins and use them in your 64 bit door. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate because it helps the channel grow. Alright guys, feel free to follow me on Instagram at jdmg and Facebook. Let's interact there. See you in my next video. Peace.